Let's explore Lima, Peru. Good morning from Peru. I just arrived in Lima in Peru and today I have like one full day of exploring the city of Lima. I'm gonna meet up with a friend of mine. The public transportation from the airport is a bit bad so everyone will tell you to get a taxi but be prepared you have Ubers as well and not only this but it's actually kind of close to the city so I'm just gonna walk. The area right outside the airport was very busy, very noisy. Everyone still um, offers you taxi rides but there's this bridge. But it is possible guys, you can literally just walk away from the airport to the city. So here in Lima everyone is wearing not just one mask, even outside, but two masks outside. There's a rule that you need to wear two masks, it's called doble mascarilla. And everyone does it. Disclaimer, no one is there right now. But everyone wears their mask outside and they not only wear one mask, but they wear two masks. The double mascarilla. It's crazy. And to say it gently, the barrios around the airport are not the nicest part of Lima. However, I did feel pretty safe. So I just walked for like 20 minutes outside the airport, straight through the little barrios here. Things slowly started to look a bit better. More parks and more greenery as well. Funnily enough, I didn't look up whether it's safe or not. I just went. It seems safe to me. Uh, people generally ignore me as a Westerner, which is interesting. This is essentially what I've been seeing for the last like 20 minutes. Soon we'll get to the center of Lima. Um, not so soon. I just didn't realize how far away from the center I still was at this point. Yeah, Feliz Navidad. I think it's a bit late for this. Oh, the people are so friendly. There was just a lady. I'm in this park right now. And there was just a lady that walked up to me and said like, Oh, modelo, modelo. Like, you look like a model. Which is so sweet. You know, guys, I'm vegan. And Lima actually has a lot of vegan cafes. And I'm gonna go to one later with a friend of mine. So that's gonna be exciting. So Lima is split up into different zones. And I'm now between Zona 3 and Zona 4 in Lima. In this beautiful park. Seems like in Peru they really value their parks. There's a lot of people like walking out and stuff. Just makes a really chilled impression. But everyone is wearing their face masks. Most of them even while walking out. Double face masks. I now made it to some closed gated communities. Um, I mean, it's not really so closed because the door was open. Okay, so I just sat down in a little like um, store here near the main road. And I got some papaya juice. And now I'm trying to head to the center with the minibuses. And the public minibus. So the ride costs like one sol 50 or something. And I have no idea where it's going. I just hope it goes somewhere to the center. Okay, the lady in the bus just told me I need to get out here. Somewhere in the center. Uh, in some center, but not the center. So you have this big shopping mall. It's very, very safe, very, very clean. By far the cleanest place I've been to so far in Lima. It's super super western here. Literally over there you see Dunkin Donuts. I then ordered a quinoa drink and I managed to film a time lapse instead of a normal video. So apparently here you drink quinoa and it's really good. It's really good. I would love to know what else is in there but um, yeah it's quite sweet. So I'm now in this shopping mall in Plaza de San Miguel. Just a lot of like western shops and you have a view behind me as well. I then jumped into the minibus again to head to the Miraflores district of Lima. Okay guys, I'm now in the Miraflores district of Lima. It's one of the nicest places in Lima for sure. There's so many like palm trees and everything. It's so beautiful. So far Lima reminds me a bit of Playa del Carmen in Mexico. Um, Cause you also have the sea and it looks somewhat similar to be honest. It's really nice, I like Playa del Carmen as well. Where's the earth? Okay, now it's nearly 12 o'clock and it's so hot. <laughs> it's boiling hot. And it's so hot as well with the double double mask. I don't know why they do it. By the way, Peru is my 95th country that I visited. That means that I have exactly 100 countries left. In the next video, I will explore the center of Lima with my good friend Manuel. So stay tuned for the next Peru video.